All right, welcome back every channel episode of Sea Skylines. I was taking a look at this city. It looks pretty good. It's growing out very well. I like how the the grid and everything's turning out. I like how the downtown's looking at. Um, we might try and jump over to this side. I'm not sure yet. Um, I do want to kind of jump to this side of the freeway as well. I'm kind of. I've been going. Oh, okay, it's just that. Okay, it just doesn't connect up. Okay, I've been kind of going back and forth whether can these connect or aren't they connected? I guess. Just need to come up and over. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone, I guess, for now. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay. Uh, I've been considering building up this way as well. I do like how this area is turning out, though. It looks pretty good. I'm not sure what to do over here, though. We could do a little... Uh, have this come up and over, but you know how long it took me to get this road like this really don't want to mess with it and then that's right there so that's not much room we could just do a tunnel underneath it which would be alright I mean I don't normally like to do that but I will I mean if it looks alright I'll do it I don't know how legit that would look next to the river there though I don't know that would be even possible but I would like to get something going on to this side of the you know in this area if we can I'm not sure really what we build over here maybe some more industry not not too sure but these uh yeah these line, lane markings should all be the same which is good which is very good um all right so the wonderful stack that we made there so that's all good i'm just kind of taking a look around kind of seeing where we need to develop so we we have mainly housing demand and some commercial demand um we're not really building anything over here so we we do need to get the buses reworked but again i want to wait a little bit uh, traffic's doing fine, so I'm I might I might just completely will tear out the buses in general and and just kind of leave it for a little bit. But I don't think there's really need to do that because they're they're working for now. Um, I mean, my last city that I've been building, I'm gonna have to show that one off. I, I waited until almost seventy thousand people before I uh, I actually started building any buses there, and it actually worked out really well. Um, yeah, here we're gonna have some issues here. So should we extend this? We had that to there, so I mean, we could. I don't know, is this road even really needed? Uh, can we do something with this rail? <laughs> a lot of questions right now that are not answered. So, this rail comes into the city from over here. So, there's a rail line that breaks off here, comes through the city, curves around, continues to curve around, then comes around here, and then comes through here. And actually crosses over and then comes back and merges into this line. That's that's interesting, I would say the least. Oh wow, I forgot we have all this space over here now too that we can work with. It's pretty flat over here, anyways. We could get a little small little town over there. I, I mean, we could if we wanted to, or maybe just a little bit of light industry or something. You know, we we could do that. And then we also have this area over here that's quite flat. So we have a lot of. Ooh, how are we gonna get people? Well. Might be a little bit of a mountainous, so maybe another little small city, nothing too major over here, uh, because it's going to require either tunneling through this mountain, or it's going to require coming across here, or kind of working our way up around the mountain a little bit, which, I mean, it might look alright doing kind of a mountainous road coming along here. And of course we got all this space out over here as well. I don't think we had that before, because I believe it came pretty close to you know in here somewhere or something like that so uh, that's pretty cool I completely forgot about that um, alright so let's let's go and extend this out a little bit on this side yeah, I don't think oh, are we going to I don't think we're going to extend this this freeway this way there's just gonna be no need for it even with all this expansion with this expansion yeah this little question well we can actually extend these ramps out a little bit better now too and we could probably make this this bridge a little bit better so let's actually work on that since we've got the space over here now we might as well do it because let's run knock these back a little bit more there's just so much to do now especially with there being uh, a lot more tiles unlocked it's crazy I don't think that was perfectly lined up you know what I'm gonna go ahead and let it be Okay, that's a little bit worse. I wonder, I guess these got off at when I recreated this whole freeway or something? I don't know. So we'll just kind of slightly do that. It still doesn't look the... Well, yeah, it looks alright. 
It doesn't look the best, but it's, it looks it looks decent enough. And then we can get some better uh, on and off ramps in here. Like so. All right, then we'll turn these around here. Yeah, so I I just decided I want to play some city skylines because I've had uh, almost moved that road down a little bit too to give ourselves a little bit more space. Might do that later on. But I've been uh, been trying to do some stuff for, for work and whatnot, and so I was like, I was just getting overwhelmed. So I was like, you know, I want to play some City Skylines, and I was like, well, I might as well record it because I've been I've been playing my own personal city for a while now. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it just because I've I did things right in that city. Like normally I don't do things quite how I would envision them and would like them to be, but I actually have been doing that in that city, and like things have actually been turning out how I want, and it's just been it's been awesome. Hmm, we could do something interesting here. We could Let's see if this will work. This may not work once we get the road widened out, though. In fact, it probably won't. But we could just try like an on ramp type thing here. But I don't think I want to do that. Yeah. I don't even know if that road will survive. I mean, is there even. That road could just end there and then curve into there. Let's see how that'll look. Let's make sure to put the power lines back. I just saw that. Hmm, I don't like that either. Maybe we can curve into there. That, that looks a little bit better. I think we might stick with that. Oh, that leaves a big old gaping square though. You know what? Just leave it like it is for now. We're about to lead the wrong road there. Okay, so I'm trying to see if there's a way we can kind of mix this up a little bit. I want to get some more offices in here, so maybe we should work on this area. So this area is, there's no, minus that, there's a little bit of a dip there, but that's about it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, have a little fun with this area. Ooh, not that, nope, nope, there we go. Just remember this, remember this before I... Before I get too distracted by something else, <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Yep, so I've got a lot of stuff going on lately, but I, I've I really want to get some recording done because I really do enjoying uh I really do enjoying I really have been enjoying, you know, recording these episodes and I I think I was almost like on a month without recording there. Or uploading for that fact, and a lot of people were like, is the show dead? Is it still alive, you know? But you know, I, I, I'm gonna say it's still alive because I, I, I for one I mean I enjoy this game uh, in fact it just turned a year old the uh, what was it two days a couple days ago I don't remember exactly but it just you know it's been out for a year already which is crazy um, and they've got two expansions which is awesome um, and I mean they've been they've been updating and adding free stuff and then I mean of course if you want the extras you pay for it but that that's how it should be it's like you know and they they wonder why like you know and big companies like EA and wonder why some people just uh, most people do not like their brand and it's like you just gotta take note from what these guys do it it's it's gotta look like you're in it for more than just the money you're actually in it to to actually make a decent game and actually make something that people want, you know, not what you think people want, like what people actually want. Because yeah, it's one thing for someone to be stuck in the past and to uh, to not want to try anything new, but I mean, when the thing in the past supersedes the thing that you're making now, then that's where the problem comes in. And we've seen this countless times with a lot of these games. It's like either they they try to to push them for way longer. Um, of a lifespan than they should have had, you know, without being revamped, or they just completely neglect them, you know, and it, it's messed up, but it's just what happens. Uh, we got a fire station right here. And, uh, you know, just unfortunately, you know, you have this big money in this gaming industry now that it's like they just have all this, they feel like they have all this power, but really, I mean, if if people don't like the game, then they're not gonna buy it, you know. Um, and unfortunately, but that's not always the case because sometimes they will really make the game look awesome, and then half the time you can't return the game. But you know, I mean, uh, if word does get out enough, you know, then 
that hurts your brand loyalty. I mean, that just hurts your brand. You know, people are going to see, oh, well, you know, this many people pre-ordered because they made it look like this, but it actually turned out to look like this, you know? And it's just, it's messed up, but, you know, what can you do? All right, sorry about that. Someone came to the door. Um, all right, so let's see here. I, think I was ranting about the gaming industry or something, but, yeah, I mean, this game is a year old, so that's, it's crazy. It's mind-boggling to me. It's like... I've already been playing this game for over a year. I think I've put like 500 some hours into this game already. I know SimCity, uh, the original, uh, SimCity 4, the original, uh, SimCity 4, I know I've put in close to a thousand hours, because I know right now on Steam I've got close to 500, but I've had that game well before I ever had it on Steam, so I do know for sure that, uh, I've had like, I've had a pretty good run on that game. Alright, so we have some power lines we're going to need to rerun here, but I just want to kind of do this. Um, hmm. Follow the tracks a little bit. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then maybe we can do similar stuff with these ones. You know, kind of break it break it up from traditional grid. Um, you know, we will get into the suburbs a little bit again. Um, well, it's pretty much the same situation there. It's awesome. Okay. So I feel like this is all going to be offices. This is going to be like a little office park over here. Um, this pretty much, I'm going to say this entire area is going to be office offices. Um, let's see here. I want to do... Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. And should we do... Do that because then we'll have that. That'll be turned into a regular row. Okay, that'll work. Okay, yeah, but I feel like that'll be offices. Um, this is going to be that, so we're going to upgrade those roads as well. That's good, and that's good. All right, so we got plenty of, of goodness going on here. So let's see here. So let's make sure we get power going here where we need it kind of got it already because we got it run over here so we don't really need this over here actually because this was just running here but this runs across like it's supposed to I like how that one tower just right there and then that bigger one right there that's funny uh, we do need water I'm sure yeah water is needed but that's gonna be a pretty simple fix because we should just be able to run it along here and that'll cover that for the most part Okay, we can just run that up to there. Uh, there's no water out over here, so we do need to fix that. So we're just trying to create some jobs now, just trying to uh, to build out the area more or less, get some of the housing going, because I'm pretty sure we still got some a lot of open uh, housing that we zone that hasn't quite filled in yet. Which is okay, that's going to happen. That's actually good, it's better to have more than you need than less than you need so that way when you actually need it you know they can just move right in basically all right let's just do that for now yeah this city's uh, getting pretty good sized uh, we're about to hit 60,000 people so yeah it's pretty good I mean this area used to be kind of on its own like and then now we just built more or less right up to it right so this is all zoned out already right yeah so what we got over here oh we got a house okay I was like, well, it looked like a fire station to me for some reason there for a second. All right. Yeah, so I, I, uh, I've been having to use, well, I switched back to the old way, but there for a while I would have to basically double process uh, my videos because uh, I tried the new AMD uh, decoder or whatever to record, and it works great, but the problem I had was that when I would import it into Adobe Premiere, it would start flashing, it would flickering, and I was like, okay, well, let me see if this is just a problem with the, the video playback, or if it's an actual problem with uh, Adobe, because it played fine in, in the players, and it played fine in Adobe Movie Maker, or Adobe uh, Windows Movie Maker, and a few other programs that I had, so I exported it, and yeah, I was still doing the same thing, so, oh, sorry about that, um, but it was just, it was crazy, because, um, you know, it was like, it actually works really well because like right now the game is lagging like that's because I had the settings turned up and I completely forgot but I switched back to that uh, to the original encoder that I was using and that just kills performance 
Um, what was nice about the Adobe is, or the uh, the uh, AMD, it was kind of like the NVIDIA one where it just, it worked so much better. It was so much better performance, so much better everything. Um, so that's unfortunate. So uh, let's see if I can get that figured out what's going on. See if I have to change some settings or whatnot because it's, it's a little annoying that, you know, that happened. Um, I've had nothing but problems with Adobe Premiere when it comes to, uh, uh, when it comes to, um, recording with Bandicam. Like, I've never had an issue with Fraps just because of the way Fraps records, but Adobe Premiere, yeah, it's always been a hassle, uh, or with uh, Bandicam, it's always been a hassle trying to get it figured out and get it recording properly, um, to, uh, to work best with Adobe Premiere, because there for a while I would have issues where the, it wouldn't pick up the audio and I even had it set up to how you know they would tell you to do it um, you know online and stuff and it still was not working like it should so yeah it's definitely a lot of fun working with some of the software sometimes you know it's like Adobe Premiere Pro I've, I've learned is very particular on what it likes it's like I, I wonder it's like I couldn't imagine being like a producer or something you know or uh, Photograph, uh, photographer or something like that, you know, where I, I depend on it for my daily tasks. It's like, I guess if you just use the same camera every day, I guess you're fine. But it's like, you know, I, I guess it wasn't necessarily meant for, for gaming, per se. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure when they were making the program that someone at home making a video, or uh, making a, a video of them playing on the game was probably not on the list of things they discussed when they were when they were making the, the program. I'm, I'm just gonna throw my guess out there on that. Alright. And, alright, so that's good, that's good. Alright, so let's get the... Is this pretty well... I don't remember going any farther up. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember going all the way up here to zone this out. Oh, we got some in the middle here. Yeah, so I just kind of wanted to get away from everything, just relax for a little bit. I was like, I've been working on it for a couple hours, and it was just, it was getting to be way too much involved, and I was just, I was like, I need to step back, and, you know, sometimes you just got to do that. It's like, you know, you start getting way in over your head, and you just got to learn when to say, okay, I need to stop for a minute, or else I'm going to go crazy here. Because you will, I mean, eventually it will drive you crazy. It's like, you can only do something for so long and think of so many things before your brain just says I've had enough let's see if we can kind of try to avoid getting that back there but get that right there uh, okay yeah I'm not so worried about the one by twos and all that on the offices if it looks terrible then I'll remove it but honestly I don't look at the offices and industry areas all that much so it doesn't bother me as much it's like when I get to, uh, I'm going to put this as commercial down over here. Let's go and do that. But it's like, I'm, I'm looking at the housing quite a bit. Because that's like what a large majority of the areas are. I mean, there's a pretty good area of offices, you know, and a fairly good area of, of industry. But that was something definitely I def did different in my, in my new city. It was like, I am going to try and put as little industry in here as possible. Like, I've got a fairly good sized industry area but it was like I focused mainly on offices and it, it seems to be paying out because um, in previous cities like I've had little, these vast sprawling areas of just polluting industry just everywhere and you know what industry is is quite annoying in this game sometimes it just brings in so much traffic and so many other problems that you don't even think about and it causes issues which you know Offices honestly just does not do so. At least I haven't noticed it. And usually I put the offices kind of closer to where people work. So I mean, it, it's not like everybody's rushing from an outside area because it's like here, everybody has to commute into these into these industries. You know, they have to come from any somewhere up around in here into here because no one's gonna want to live over here. But here in offices, you know, there's people who live close. I mean, they can go here, they can take the freeway, they can take the frontage road, they can come in this way. You know, it's like, whatever, it's like they got so many more avenues of ways to get in here and it just it helps out traffic. So, because I can usually put offices, you know, pretty close to town. So, all right, so we're going to do that and then we're going to go and zone out housing over here. 
Uh, we're going to get rid of that strip here too. Pretty much had a good idea that it was going to be there. Alright, and then I also want to uh, look into building a, a little bit of a cemetery area. I I wasn't really liking in the, like I said, in my new city, I wasn't really liking how the, the cemeteries were looking. I was spreading them out through the city and it was looking okay, but I really wasn't liking it. So I ended up just dividing off this big plot of land and just put down a bunch of cemeteries on it and kind of made it like a little park and stuff. It looked pretty cool. Um, if, you know, I definitely learned a lot from it because that was my first time doing it. Um, but it was definitely, it was pretty cool doing that. Still not sure what to do over there. I'll look at that and kind of see if there's something I can do. So yeah, we're definitely having a little bit of a performance suffer right now, but... Yeah, I can definitely, I can notice a difference between, uh, you can see the cars and stuff. I can definitely notice a difference between that. So I might just go back to it and just continue doing the double, uh, double encoding or trying to find something that works, because... It definitely was nice to have that portion because this is a this is a very heavily this is very heavily reliant on the CPU and and so is that Ooh. we do need power over here okay of course there's not gonna be anything that's going to make it easy for us to do that right but yeah this game definitely relies a lot on uh, the CPU and so does the recording software so you know they're constantly fighting over you know, what is what, and you know, I got a i7 and stuff, but it's like, there's only so much that you can do, so I'm thinking of taking this road out I don't really like the way that looks it's gone, just like that it's gone uh, we're gonna put down some offices, fill up that area yeah, I like that a lot better so over on this side of the road I'm gonna go ahead and put in some oh, oh man There we go. Put in some more uh, commercial along there. I think that'll work out best. Yeah, look at the traffic. It is just not happy. It's, it's like a huge performance difference. I mean, at least at least 10 to, 10 to 15 frames per second lost by using a different encoder. That is that's a pretty good amount. I mean, especially I mean with the encoder, I could easily push out just about 30. With this, you know, we're we're edging on like twenty-five or so. And I say ten to ten to fifteen, because I mean like if I go right over here, you will usually pick up about forty-five or so. And we got a little bit of a backup going on there, don't we? Everybody's turning right. We only got one right turn lane. Let's see here. Let's go like this. Let's go change lanes. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And that can still be a straight lane, and that be a turn only lane. Okay. So hopefully the cars will start using that double right there. If we're lucky, it's gonna take a little while for them to learn that. Oh, I can do that now. Just like in the real world, I suppose. Um. trying to figure out why they weren't building over here and it's because there's nothing built close to them to uh, to link them to power so let's see if we can link them across the way here something like that yeah that looks good we've been going on almost 25 minutes so far that's crazy it's time to just talk Ooh. Yep, these guys are not happy over here, but we can fix that. We can fix that. Just been talking about all sorts of stuff, which is making the time fly by. All right. I want to see what traffic is doing on this road here. It's there's a lot of traffic that comes over here, but I don't think there's a single bus stop over here either, so that doesn't help. Plus, it's in many ways like a main freeway as well. A lot of people get on there, but they're also going across to there as well, so that helps. Mm, some way or another. I wish. I don't think this tool's been updated yet. Nope, still doesn't work. Oh well. And the escape still doesn't work. Uh, man. I don't know if that'll ever be fixed. We'll find out. 
Hmm, okay, that looks good, that looks good. Yeah, we got traffic using this road now. Not surprising, I suppose. Um, I'll take a look at how the interchange is doing. So this used to be a little bit of a problem spot, but it should be good. It's moving good now. It's good to see. Alright, everything's moving good. Moving smooth. Everything's moving good and smooth here. Everything's moving good here. Just want to make sure there's no you know major traffic backups. I bet you there could be one. Oh man, I get turned around in the city a little bit. Over where was I? Oh yeah, over here. Right? Um over here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a backup there. Are people just stopping like one at a time there? I suppose they are, so we don't really have room to two lane that right now, so I'm gonna ignore that for the time being. I like how the uh, the rail just divides the city. That is that is crazy. I didn't mean for that, but I mean you see it there, and then you see it all the way up over here. You just see the division. You see it up here. It's just crazy. Wow, there's a lot of traffic coming down this road. That's crazy. Yeah, we definitely, uh, our city is definitely, uh, got some traffic going now. We're on the, we're on the beginnings of spring break here, and this is definitely a very big spring break town, so traffic is already bad enough, but now it's just looking worse. Alright, so that's looking good. I kind of don't like how this fork looks here, so I'm trying to think if there's going to be a way for me to kind of redo that. I mean, we could curve these bridges in a little bit faster, and then that would give room for that. So we can actually start curving it up here, and then have them kind of connected up over here. Hmm. Just, I don't know. Let's just make sure there's no traffic jams like we had. I got that pretty well squared away. I believe we will. <laughs> Depends on your definition of squared away here. So do I have, I should have four lanes there, right? I got three coming in, so there's no merge lane, but there is. Oh, okay, I see what they did there. I was, I do see Texas do this uh, a lot, where they have, um, where they add a merge lane, but it'll it'll be a continuous lane. So, and I think it's a it's a fairly good idea because it gives people time to merge on, but people who need to merge off can get over. But these people that are coming on don't have to worry about trying to get over. It's only the people that can actually see ahead of them. You know, you don't have to pay attention behind them as well once they get past this point. But as they're coming up, you know, they can kind of look and see who's coming on. And then they can plan their move. And then, you know, that, you know, in theory would make things, as long as they're a decent driver, would make things uh, a little bit smoother, you know. And then that way, so people are getting on, it doesn't really work here. But because of this, well, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, yeah. I'm trying to think. I think I got this backwards. Yeah, I got this backwards because... Anyways, you gotta come over and it, it's three lanes all the way back here. But I'm just saying, uh, that's what it made me think of. It's like, you know, people getting on can stay on, and the people getting off are the ones that have to worry about merging over. So it's like, it, it works, you know? It, it, it quote unquote works. <laughs> Thinking of doing some timed traffic lights here, which we might have to do. Uh, the AI sometimes in this game. It is quite perplexing. It's like, why would you do that? So, alright guys, well I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys uh, like this series, go to the like button, favorite, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Definitely stay tuned for future episodes. And as always, thanks for watching.